Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to our series today we're going to continue our plug and today I'm going to finish up the authorization I don't know how long is, going to, is this going to take me but well, we're going to find out so uh, first of all I've realized we have some like unnecessary uh, fields such as like if I go to my admin panel and uh, god I forgot I think it's that Oh god. Oh, uh, admin, I think it's like. Nope. Okay, uh, Django, how to. Django, how to check super user. How to get super user details. Django, no, um. <laughs> Django forgot password. Django forgot password. Forgot admin password. Using Django authentication system. How to reset. Change password to username. Python manage create super user. Python on my shell, then Python on my basically Python on my change password. Uh, if I put this over here, okay, so, uh, okay, let's see. Okay, you, this user does not exist. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so in our users field we have we only have no we actually do have first name and last name and email address and username so first name last name username email and passwords okay so so there's there's not, nothing to remove over here okay so i think i'm gonna need to now i'm gonna have to check uh I'm gonna need to do some conditionals. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's over here. It's just that I do not remember the syntax that well. Just a recent big first name, first name. Yeah, I you, you take stuff like that. So this should be first name, last name, username, email, password, confirm, confirm password. Uh, confirm password. It should be. Confirm password. Now, uh, to make this work, I should I should add the. So okay, this is sending post. Okay, but for the this, I must change the names for each input. So for this name, uh, it should be first name. I sh so everything should have a name. Uh, wait, now uh, is is it name or is it ID? Let me make sure. Um, templates, accounts, register, register. Name, yeah, it's it's name. I'm gonna also I'm gonna have it be required some uh, some basic uh, uh, client side variation uh, client side validation. Yeah, so how's everyone doing? I am doing very well. Like uh, working from home was it's 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 it's, it's um, I really like it because it it lets it gives me time to focus on on myself and like and I realize I'm a lot more productive that way. Uh, yeah, so. Um, if, if, if anybody is listening to this, like I highly doubt that, but uh, I hope you hope you have a nice day, nice time too. Now, 
it's hard to do a commentary while coding so uh, hmm. let's see this is required this password confirm password confirm password yeah so then you know what just let me this thing counts ah uh, btre no 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 accounts yeah over here if password you could confirm so this is just checking the if username user object imports user from here so uh it's basically this stuff Like that. So I'm gonna explain the code really fast. So so now this is checking the user, and I should and import the user from Django.contrib.r. I think import user. Uh, let's hope I'm right. Uh, dot models. Yep. Dot models. I forgot about that. the models yep and now messages uh, messages equal error error uh, I do not really have messages so uh, so is there any way like to alert the user I think uh, I do not want to imp implement messages uh, then render redirect Okay, uh, is there any way Django alert user? Yeah, something really, really simple alert. Displaying messages? No, like, um, like, a, like a simple alert. Uh, and this is more of a JavaScript question, but anyway, this I create create message.html. Uh, okay, you simply create these and then 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 you add them to your huh. Okay, so I think I, sh I should add this create message.html. For message in my messages in your in your base of HTML add oh yeah I can simply add this in, in, in my in my base so I don't have to add this everywhere. Uh where the hell is my base? So I forgot where where there is the base the base actually over here. So I, I, I can add this right under like that, yeah. Honestly, partials. Let me partials underscore underscore min, uh, messages partials underscore alerts. Ah, yeah. So I, I call that alert. Alert. Let me change the name to alert. 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 Dot h there.html then my pages no and then over here I can simply you know what god I messed up god I messed up 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 I was working on the wrong project the whole time. Yeah, just let me close this. Don't save. Yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah, then 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 if I add these messages to models, you 
redirect and then over in your and then you might be set HTML import message which I'm gonna import right here uh, include that let me alert then over in my views I need to import messages okay where the hell is the match is the messages nope 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 uh, nope counts messages and off Okay, right now this should work. Okay, I need to log out first of all. Right. Okay. Let's hope this works. Worked or what? Um, okay, let us let me check the site. Let me check the uh, the admin panel. Yes, 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 yes. It worked. This works now. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. Okay, so uh. When it succeeded, I'm yeah, I redirect to hello. But my messages did not show because my base.html, okay, I, I included this in my base.partials. Alerts, ah, okay, yeah. Messages. Messages. No, this is, this is message. Uh, if I log out, if I log out, then I and I come back here again and I register the same stuff. This should give okay. Uh, the error is here, but it's not being shown. Why is that? Navbar. Then I have alerts, it's a toast. Um, now why isn't this showing? Messages, toast notification, BG of message equal tag, danger as okay, just the, the, the classes for bootstrap. Uh, this is weird. Hmm, this is weird. This is weird, weird, weird. Uh, for message and messages, uh, we, we dispatch the message, error request, email already exists. Hmm. I th I'm pretty sure it's an, it's an issue with the the classes. Okay. Um, yeah, I got it. Okay. If I if I put this in my login, no, uh, in my re register page, register page, but down here at the bottom. No, uh, you know what? It sh sh shouldn't be at the bottom. It should be right at the top. Uh, 
it's messages dot uh, let me simply copy the accounts partials alerts if messages for messages inside messages mm. I do not need the styles to be perfect but if messages for sites be my messages one two three one two three uh, email already exists okay uh, I, I do not have the JavaScript class so hmm. uh, do then do I add the JavaScript class? Uh, okay, let me add the JavaScript. Static JS mail JS. JS mail JS. JS. Yep. Hashtag message and you simply a fade out. Footer, your website, okay. Uh, uh, what's the name of the confessions of a programming freak? Let's put this 2020, okay. And then I wanted the I wanted to. Down the scripts over here. Main.js, it's not gonna work right now because I have to call it static. Uh, not not yard. Pip um no, it's it's it's, it's not pip even. I unmanaged a py collect collect static. Yes. Okay, now this should work. This, uh, this should be over here. Blog static JS main JS. If I refresh page and I the error passes now match one two three. Fuck of this. Uh, yeah, I think I should restart my server. Okay, screw it. Let's uh, this, this does not matter. Now let's focus on the matter at hand, which is going to be right now the sign in. Uh, for the sign in, I should add a should add a I should add a name in the required field. Username. password so for this uh, views we pretty much do the same thing we get the password and the user user login we get the password and such uh, password get the password um, what else get the password and then we do auth dot something uh, what was like it, ha it has something to do with the authorized method mm -hmm. then okay username if user is if it, basically if if you if user exists then we log we log him in 
the journal of them and we click the three dashboard yeah got it if if it's if it's not logged in we just uh, we show an error <laughs> over here yep user authentication uh this should be got user and password uh unindented no Uh, shift tab uh, in dashboard we do have dashboard we do not have dashboard so I will simply move to back to redirect to redirect to where uh, redirect to hmm. Away. If I go to my pages, yeah, uh, if I redirect to, if I redirect to home, uh, messages that success. Okay, uh, let me also bring up my alerts. Should be on my login also, which should be over. Yeah, if I just enter something random, multi-value ticked key first name, first name, because I, let me check my login, username, password, name required, to the Twitter, then on my views, username, password, ah, yeah, use, got, This should give me an error in uh, invalid credentials if I'm next that and and now I am logged in. I'm supposedly logged in. Uh, if I go to the admin site, no, I'm not logged in. Oh, why is that? If user is n is not none, author login you request user, which is this author authenticate this. Okay, the message you are you are now logged in, which which will redirect me to home. Uh, let me redirect this to login. Yeah, if you if you redirect this to home, I invalid credentials. If I enter as an admin, you are not successfully logged in. Yeah, it works. It works, it works, it works. Now we need to implement the logout functionality. Uh, the logout should be a form. This is, yeah, let me. Uh, the logout URLs. Let me copy this. Logout. 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 User logout. Name the logout. Yep, yep, yep. User logout. Then. Okay. Okay, now def define logout request. Uh, for now, let it it should always be post, so it should only have like one if statement. So like, and then it should simply be a. Uh, like auth dot logout or something like that, yeah. Auth dot logout, yeah. 
Ah, shit. Back, yeah, like that. Auto success, log out request. You are now logged out. I will go back to login. Yeah, I will go back to login. Log out. Now, the tricky part is over here. I'm gonna have to log out. Uh, this shouldn't be an ally statement. This should be a form. Yeah. Uh, how did I do it over here? For yeah, he basically made it is authenticated. He made it. He made, made it this way. Uh, uh, let me change the styles. Change the styles. Yeah, um, I should, I should change this, this which is going to be over dashboard logout, yeah, we, 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 we do not need this, document again, element by ID, submit, yeah, yeah, okay, then this is going to submit logout, this will, which, which, which will submit this logout, yeah, got it. So uh, I'm gonna explain. So the situation we have is that the only way we can log out is is through a post request and through an A tag, we, we cannot just call in a post request. So the solution is that we uh, we create a, a hidden form in, inside this logout button. When you press this, it's, it's gonna it's get, it's gonna run run this JavaScript code, which will find uh which will find an element by the ID logout, which is the form itself, and it's it's gonna submit it. It's, it's gonna submit it to uh to logout. So if if I refresh, I press logout. Now we have logged out. Let me test. Uh, let's see, test, 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 test at gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We are now registered. Test five. You are now logged in. And if I, you are now, you are now authorized, you are now admin. Uh, If we go to our users, yep, we have our users, so I, uh, and we can filter them once. Okay, so I think this will be the end of it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you have any questions, just leave them down, down in the comments, and make sure to answer them, and we'll see you next time.